Um, again, to keep with OPSEC and such like that, uh, there is a little bit of a run between what you saw as the source and uh, and the the building here that these are housed in. I'm not going to say how how much or how far, but it's 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 well within a, a fair fair distance. So we're 24 volts <coughs> DC all the way through to our battery bank here. Now, <coughs> this little device is called an inverter, and this is a this is an old school trace. Inverter trace is now called Xantrex X A N T R E X, <clears throat> and this is a 4024 model uh, inverter. What all that means basically, it's a 4000 watt inver inverter and it's designed for 24 volts. All right, your inverter is basically your heart of your, the heart of your system. What this is going to do is this is going to take your 24 what we have here, the 24 volts. Uh, DC and it's going to convert it to 110 AC okay your standard home power uh, you know what everything in the normal home runs off of now for years people did not use inverters all right they went with 12 volt systems and and they what they did was they went through <clears throat> and they changed out all the stuff in their house and they did silly things like they got these little funky inefficient 12 watt uh, excuse me 12 volt uh, you know coffee makers and such like that from RVs and they got the little uh, lights from backs of cars and different stuff like that alright <clears throat> it's silly to do that nowadays these inverters have come down in price considerably uh, this again is a, is what would be considered a medium medium size or so uh, inverter there is smaller ones out there what you don't want to do what you don't want to do is get one of the twenty nine dollar or seventy nine dollar "Quote unquote inverters from uh, from Walmart and things like that. It's it's is is it an inverter? Yes. Is it the same thing? No. <clears throat> this inverter will basically do everything but make coffee for you. All right. Uh, these and this is ten year ten year old model, uh, fairly old model. There is they've upgraded them. I've seen some of the newer ones. I helped some friends up north put one in. Uh, very advanced unit. You know, a lot more advanced than this one. Uh, no offense, bud. <laughs> but but." Uh, the thing about it is, <clears throat> this will allow also, if when you're running a generator, this will double as a charger, okay? So, getting back to our other power source here, the generator, all right, again, if we were just running a generator set into a bank of batteries, we would have no control whatsoever over what went into the batteries <clears throat> and what to you know what condition they were in the whole nine yards that's where our, our a quality inverter that acts also as a charger is going to take care of that for us okay this is going to regulate the amount of charge that goes from the inver uh, excuse me from the generator uh, into the battery bank okay so again your inverter is, is really the heart of your system so the other thing there's there's it's kind of kind of I'd spend two or three videos explaining all that an inverter like this will do for your system. Uh, needless to say it will allow an EQ charge via your generator set to your battery bank and things like that. Uh, they're programmable to where uh, you can sit there and figure out okay if the if my battery uh, voltage dips below you know this number then you automatically turn on the generator fire it up crank some power in here and when it gets to this level of power stage shut it back off uh, I mean, these will literally control a lot of things. Like I said, they'll they'll practically do everything but make coffee for you. So uh, a good quality inverter is worth the money. These units right here uh, have come down in price considerably. I think I uh, uh, originally saw these for about what three thousand dollars, about three thousand dollars or so, roughly. Uh, now then, I've seen them on eBay and such. Sometimes you know, brand new. Sometimes as low as uh, just under two thousand dollars. So a lot of this stuff is coming down in price considerably. Uh, you know, you always hear the stories that solar panels are fixing to come out at a dollar a watt, and you know they're you know going to give them to you and give you a couple dollars back, and you know just all these crazy stories. Uh, hasn't been much significant progress in that in the last ten years. If you're waiting around for the almost free solar panels forget about it go ahead and get your system started uh, if you have the ability to do so and you know or you know it's like they say crap in one hand and wish in the other and see which one gets filled first type of thing so now these are the basic components of a of an energy system and again it's going to depend you know you can you could start off there's a excellent uh, article on a website called build and arc Dot net. Again, buildandarc.net under the homesteading section. 
basically it's called what what you can do with your generator set and again if you already have a generator uh, even a small gasoline generator things like that you have the you have a power source for a small AE system and you got to think about it what are you really going to do with that generator if something happens all right your gas is probably going to be limited okay so you won't be able to run it 24 7 all right it would be silly to run it 24 7 because you know bad guys potential looters and such like that it's just going to draw them into your location okay also the wear and tear is going to just tear that thing up especially a a, a small like a contractor's grade uh, you know gas generator set or something like that it's going to wear it out in a real short period of time so again if you just take your your generator set that you you probably more than likely already have and you couple it with an inverter okay and there are smaller units you can get a decent uh, 12 volt trace or Xantrex inverter for about six seven hundred dollars and uh, a battery bank and it doesn't have to be this large of a bank you could start off with four or six uh, even smaller batteries uh, we'll we'll visit in one of these next videos another location that uses a slightly smaller battery uh, the Trojan T105 it's what's more or less commonly considered the standard golf cart type battery and such uh, and uh, you can get them usually for seventy five to a hundred dollars a piece uh, so you could put together, if you already have a, have a generator set, have some sort of power source, you could, uh, you could basically put together a small system for well under $2,000. And again, this would be something then that you'd be, you'd be guaranteed power, okay? And it would, it would make it, it would free up so you're not running your, your, uh, your generator 24-7 during an emergency, but yet you could still have power because you can store that. And what you could start doing is over time, going through and adding a solar panel here or there or adding if your area of the country is good for it and down here and where we're at in Florida, Bama there isn't uh, there isn't really the high high enough wind or consistent enough wind to do any sort of wind power uh, and we'll, we'll look at some some things around here at some of the other systems we have uh, a lot of friends in this area of the country we'll, we'll, ex we'll, we'll explore some other systems in another in another video but uh, needless to say you, you really need to know your area uh, the probably the more closer to ideal uh, AE source would be something like a micro hydro set. Uh, the way I understand it, uh, these typically put out AC power. So actually, if you had a year-round source, you wouldn't even need a battery bank. Of course, like-minded people are going to probably have a battery bank just because it's you know it's a way to store. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a huge garden every year. You're still going to be smart to have some food storage because. One year that garden may you may have a drought or you may have a problem. So it kind of kind of pertains the same way to a, to an alternate energy system. Is you want your battery bank for those days when, like today, you saw just a little while ago, <clears throat> there wasn't much sun out here, and uh, even though the battery bank was still pretty strong, they're you know still pretty heavy in power. There wasn't a lot of sun, and the sun just recently came out, which is why the uh, the room here got so much so much brighter. The other thing you want to consider as well too <clears throat> is protection for your unit and such. This is in a uh, a good concrete uh, building and such like that. Uh, you know, this is something to think about. Um, a small building with a metal roof might help a lot with the MP and such like that. Have your spares, have your backups. Uh, you know, spare parts for these sorts of things. Uh, these charge controllers and such—they're coming down in price considerably. 